Hello, faith leaders, and welcome to Break Time. This whole week, of course, is the week of Christmas, and we're going to take a little bit of break from Proverbs. We're just going to walk through the book of Luke in chapter 2. We're going to walk through the Christmas story for the next five days. Hope you enjoy it, and I'm, I'm praying and hoping this is a great season for you. I'm going to look at these, these time of break time to, for us just to sit in the Christmas story daily. So we're in Luke 2. It says this, In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a, a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria. And everyone went to their own town together. So Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judah to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house in the line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to, be mar to, mar to marry him and was expecting a child. Now this was, as we heard, this is the first. And this census was taken in this, in this town. And so you, let's try to put ourselves there. He was pledged to be married and his wife was expecting a baby. And can you imagine the journey that he had to take to go to be counted in this census? Lots of people. It was a hustle bustle time of year. Very similar to our time of year. Very hustling time of year. And it's not the time of year that you would hope to expect that your, your wife, yourself would be expecting a child because it, it was a busy, you had to make a long journey and it was a journey that most people didn't want to be taken so that they could be counted in the census. So place yourself there. It was a hectic time of year. Lots of people were traveling. <laughs> Sound familiar? And you have a pregnant spouse on the way. But traveling was a little bit different than it was for you and me. It's easier to travel. It wasn't like he could take this long journey inside of an airplane. Of course, we know the story. Some of us have heard this story years and years and years and years. But he had to, to place Mary on a cult. And that cult was provided by the Lord. And so we see this journey being taken place with a very pregnant woman sitting on a cult. And the census was being taken. Put yourself there. And I'm going to try to relate this to our lives. Are you busy in this time of year? Most of us, I've got an agenda that's unbelievable. I have children that are going to be entering into my house this week. And I'm very, very, we're very excited about that. But yet, do I have time to take a journey with the Lord? Am I going to allow myself this week to slow down enough to allow my experience, to allow myself to experience what the Lord is trying to teach me through this journey with him? Am I going to slow down enough to realize his presence that is with me? This is more than just a story calculating what happened on this journey. This is a journey between you and the Lord this week. It's often a time where our hearts are very tender, very open to what the Holy Spirit wants to prompt us, to teach us, to, to do this time of year. But this was something Joseph had to do. They had to be calculated. They had to go to the census. But yet, how did he go? And are we willing to take the journey with him? Are we willing to experience some of what the Lord had to experience? Slow down is Monday's challenge. Slow down. Have a blessed day. Many people ask me, how is MSM supported? And I want to say by you, you are the reason that we can continue sending break times out, making videos, reaching the masses through digital media. MSM is asking people like yourself to prayerfully consider becoming a one-time donor or a monthly donor. With your help, we can spread the transforming word of God and empower faith leaders across the globe. Would you prayerfully consider becoming a financial supporter, financial partner with MSM?